Hey guys, Karis here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Mass Brain Zetsume Rise Key and Metsubo's Jinrai Driver Unit from Kamen Rider Zero One Others, Kamen Rider Metsubo Jinrai. This is a key and driver unit used by the writers of Metsubo Jinrai to turn it into a new fused rider in their spin off movie. That includes the two things seen here. So, let's get started. First up, we'll start by looking at the Mass Brain Zetsume Rise Key. So, this is a mostly original Zetsume Rise Key, though it does have a bit of a inspiration. As you can tell by looking at it, it's definitely inspired and actually basically retooled from the Arc 1 Progress Key. But in this case, instead of having the left part forming Arc 1's face, instead forms Connor and Metsubo Jinrai's face. Of course, with the left eye being clear to uh, create the screen for going into the driver. You can pop that out. Here we can see in here, a little symbol that will display in the driver, as well as some circuitry in here. And similar to the Arc 1 Progress key, all the lines match up so that whether it's closed or open, they all connect together like circuitry. And of course it is clear on the back so you can see all the different things inside it. This has several sounds I can make on its own, but we'll just go for, through a few of them. So of course, pressing the button will activate it and also open it up because it is spring-loaded. Of course, we start with the basic name announcement, then we have the ability sounds. You have an announcement of Henshin from the four Metsubo Jinrai Riders. And we have various phrases in it, but that's what I'll get to in a different part. Additionally, like a lot of other premium Pro Rise keys or Zitsume Rise keys, by pressing and holding the activation button, it'll switch to a memorial mode. And to switch it back, you just press and hold the button again. Next, we'll look at the Metsubo Jinrai Driver Unit. So this is a fairly bulky piece, and because of that, the box for the set is actually fairly on the large side. You can see it's done up in all this black with some gunmetal and purple, similar to the colors of the Zetsume Rise Key. And this is another one that is pretty much a retool, in this case, of the Zero Two driver unit. As you can see, the piece that extends out, as well as the back part of it, is essentially the same, but it's easier to see the details now that solid plastic instead of the clear plastic. The main part that's different being the actual front part. It can also fold out. I have this very nice display showing the four symbols of the different riders. Horobi for Metsu, Naki for Bo, Jin for Jin, of course, and then Ikazuchi for Rai. Of course, it represents Sting Scorpion, Japanese Wolf, Flying Falcon, and Dodo. I just find this kind of interesting and kind of funny, considering that by the time the four members of Metsubo Jinrai were gathered in the show, Jin had already forgone the Flying Falcon progress key and instead just permanently upgraded to being Burning Falcon. So there's never really a time where they were gathered in this formation. And similar to the Zero Two driver unit, it does use a spring here to activate it when used with the Zero One driver. And speaking of which, next we can take the Zero One driver and attach on the Metsubo Jinrai driver unit. So for this, it's a similar process to putting on any of the other driver units. First, we want to take a progress key, slot into the driver. Then remove the original sign cover. Now we'll take the tabs, 
attach them onto the clips on the driver. And take this piece, squeeze down the two tabs, and then slide it in. Notice it didn't make a sound there, and that's because with this, it doesn't actually have the button that'll hit the button inside there. And from there, we can then take the slider, pull it back, and retrieve the progress key. Thus giving us the Metsubo Jinrai driver. Quite bulky unit, but so much of it is covered up that it does look a lot more distinct from the Zero One driver. Next, we'll take the Mass Brain key and Metsubo Jinrai driver and use them to transform. And the process is pretty much the same as using the Zero Two driver. So first, we're going to take the cover and fold it over. And press the button on the key to activate it. And rather than scan it, we'll just put it in directly. Which is a little bit tricky because the end of the driver actually covers up the slot. And there we have the transmission into Kamen Rider Metsubo Jinrai, who's displayed here on the back of the box. As you can see, he has a lot of the same Metsubo Jinrai styling, such as a lot of these different panels that are strapped onto his body, but a lot of original armor pieces that definitely makes it stand out as a rider. And as for the completed Metsubo Jinrai driver, it really is almost, well, actually it's very distinguishable from the uh, Zero One driver because of how much is covered. When looking from the front, you only see a little bit of the yellow as previously there. So I think that really does a good job at making it separated, even though it is just an attachment onto the Zero One driver. Now, when transformed, we can press the button on the Zetsman Rise key for a few phrases. And these phrases are for the most part in English because Commander Mitsubo Jinrai interestingly speaks in the system unit of the Zero One driver and other drivers. And the last sound is the four members of Metsubo Jinrai screaming. I'm not going to explain why, because that basically spoils the ending of the spin-off movie, and I don't want to see anyone commenting about that in the comments. If I see anything like that, I will delete it. But besides that, then press in the Zetsman Rise key for a special attack. So we got the Metsubo Jinrai Impact. And the Mass Brain Impact. From there we can retrieve the key from the driver. Then switch over to more memorial mode and do the transformation again.
then we get a transformation sound accurate to the transformation in the movie. Unfortunately, because it's so long, it actually goes on longer than the lights will say on in the driver. But then we also get more uh, accurate special attack sounds. Though unlike in the normal mode, in, mem in Memorial mode, it only uses the Metsubo Jinrai impact. Next, we can use the Mass Band key with the other main risers. So first, have it with the Shot Riser. And these special attacks. Then we'll use it with the Force Riser. And the finishers. After that, we can use it with the attached arrow for weapon finishers. And finally, we get to the phrases outside the driver that I mentioned earlier. And there are 23 in all from the various characters. <laughs> and you might have noticed a peek of the instructions, I'm just following along them. Just make sure I don't skip past anything. I'm 
けたとしたらそれでも許すか<笑>バカなのは俺の方だ悩む必要などなかった滅亡人雷ネットの意思は一つだ世界が必要とするならば我々が悪となろう俺たちには俺たちの正義があるええヒューマギアの夢と自由をこの手で守る二度と同じ過ちを繰り返さないためにも誰かがやらなきゃならないんだいざ聖戦の時だ滅亡人雷ネットの意志のままにかけ And there we go. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty satisfactory set. Both of the items included, while retail, do do enough to make themselves stand out from what they were modeled after, to make them seem different and you know, a bit more worthwhile. And definitely, it is cool to have this driver unit that does make it look like almost a completely different driver. Plus, a pretty cool Zetman Ricey, even though, let's be honest, it could be a pro Ricey, and they just named it that way. Still, the sounds are good. It's nice that it has a memorial mode to make it a little bit more accurate to the on-screen appearance. And overall, it's definitely a good set. One thing to know about this is that similar to other spin-off movie items, these were included bundled with the actual movie itself, either on DVD or Blu-ray. And while it is possible to buy it directly from Amazon Japan without needing a middleman or anything like that, is going to be a bit on the pricier side, so I'd recommend that unless you're really you know, die hard about getting this and you're willing to spend that much, maybe either wait to find it somewhere for a cheaper deal or look for someone who may be selling this separate from the movie. But next time we'll be looking at the other spin off movie I am for Zero One in the Deluxe Dire World at Samurai's Key and Several Tigers at Samurai's Key. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KROX50, riding off.